Hello everyone, my name is Basket Lockerball and welcome to the video. You're probably wondering why I have a fleece on right now in the middle of summer and that's because today we're doing an ice cream challenge. Here I have a $100 gift card for Cold Stone Creamery which I used already to pre-order some delicious ice cream cakes. This is going to be one sweet and delicious challenge. I love ice cream. Let's get right to it. Here we go. guys and we got all of our delicious ice cream cakes right here now I'm not gonna ramble on too long because one of these is already starting to melt and I don't want them to melt too much more than they have already Cold Stone has signature cakes that you can pre-order but you can also design cakes yourself and that's what I did I designed three ice cream cakes for this okay I have a theme for each ice cream cake a cheesecake theme this ice cream cake is a peanut butter themed I do love peanut butter and this ice cream cake I'm calling a wild and outrageous theme. It's a whole bunch of random ridiculousness combinations that I wouldn't think go together. That's this one. And then finally we have Edward's Turtle Cream Pie. It's only half left. I ate the other half a couple days ago. I wasn't originally going to include this in the challenge but these ice cream cakes didn't weigh as much as I originally thought they were going to so I decided Let's add on a little bit more dessert. Now, if you're wondering about that rumbling in the background, sorry about that. I have water boiling on the stove, and it's at this point in the video we'll let you guys know the stats for all of this delicious ice cream and cake right here. I'm gonna put that right there for you guys. And of course, as I mentioned, the beverage of choice, hot water, because I'm sure my body temperature is gonna drop during this challenge, so the hot water will hopefully help. All right, guys. I think the time has come. My friends, my fans, my family, this is the Cold Stone Ice Cream Cake Challenge. I'm hungry, I'm happy, let's eat. Timer started and let me put it, let me sneak it back there for now. Should be able to see that, you can still see this, okay. We gotta start with this one, this is the cheesecake themed, so let me just Try to cut off a nice big section here. There we go. This ice cream cake has cheesecake ice cream with graham cracker pie crust mix-ins times three, a layer of yellow cake, a mid-layer of caramel, fluffy white frosting, Heath Bar toffee pieces on the top, graham cracker pie crust on the bottom. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness, that is so good, wow, combination of the cold and the deliciousness, oh, oh my goodness, I'm going to really enjoy this challenge, wow. Okay, that's about half of that one. Oh my goodness. 10 out of 10, I don't care. Wow, that's incredible. Okay, let's 
do a slice of the wild and outrageous, as I'm calling it. When I was picking up these ice cream cakes, they were triple stacked, stacked inside one bag, and I left them that way. And as I was driving away, they fell over and toppled, and I was freaking out. Ah! And the light turned green when it happened, so I was trying to drive and manipulate the cakes to keep them upright. It all worked out though. We obeyed all the rules of the road. I kept the ice cream cakes nice and safe. So let that be a lesson to me. Next time I have three ice cream cakes in my back seat, don't leave them triple stacked. And I'm already making a mess of myself, but clothes can be cleaned. Okay, strawberry cake batter ice cream with bananas, gummy bears, and pecans mixed in with red velvet cake, a strawberry puree layer, with fluffy Oreo frosting, white chocolate curls on top, and rainbow sprinkles. Told you it was wild. Take a look at the beautiful red velvet. All right, let's do it. Oh, there's the gummy bears. All right, first slice of the wild and outrageous is down. That wasn't bad. The gummy bears, I'm totally not chewing though. I'm just swallowing them whole. If I tried to chew them, it would take way too long. But it's actually a nice combination. The gummy bears with the bananas, can't really taste the pecans. Okay, so now what do we do? Peanut butter themed. Oh boy. This one is peanut butter cookie dough ice cream with peanut butter times two and pretzels mixed in with Reese's peanut butter sauce, devil's food cake, a layer of peanut butter in the middle, rich fudge ganache, and Reese's peanut butter cups on the top. Oh, I do love peanut butter. Here we go. Peanut butter on top of peanut butter on top of peanut butter. So good. I think the cheesecake one is my favorite. Wow, but they're all really good. Now I think I'm just gonna try to eat them off of this. Let's go back to the wild and outrageous. Let me try different utensils, see if it helps. I have to say, all these combinations, and this one is unconventional, but it actually works. The gummy bears, the bananas, the pecans, with the red velvet, I, I'm, really, I'm really enjoying this. First one done. All right, let me reposition some items here. Actually, let me move the timer over there. I think I'm gonna continue on with the peanut butter one. Let me try another new utensil, ice cream scoop. Why not? Nope, not feeling that one. Go 
back to this. This, this is so good still. Oh man, this is awesome. This is my new camera angle again, which is lower and closer to the food. I, I really liked it in my last video. I'm hoping you guys like it too. Oh, there's so much peanut butter in here. I love it. Well, they're really melting now. clean up a little here. Uh, don't want to look like a complete mess. Whew. We got a little bit left of the peanut butter. One. Whew. Remember, I remember when I was a kid, I always loved ice cream and peanut butter. Who doesn't? One time I thought, I wonder how it would taste if I put peanut butter on the ice cream. Swirled those two together. Oh, man. It was like love. I didn't do it a lot because peanut butter and ice cream are both high enough in calories as it is. But every now and then, I would combine the two. Oh, so worth it. here. Okay, we got one ice cream cake left, the, the rest of the cheesecake themed one, which was my favorite of the three. Almost at 22 minutes. Okay, still feel really good. This is melting a lot. Ooh. Oh, that layer of car caramel, though. Wow, so good. Oh, it literally tastes like cheesecake ice cream. That is just so good. Oh, my goodness. It reminds me of the Cheesecake Factory at Home brand of ice cream. They have a whole bunch of flavors, but the best one, unquestionably, is the original. Cheesecake ice cream with graham cracker crust mixed in. Oh, so good. So, but there's a whole bunch that melted. Let me try to, my goodness. I almost just kinda wanna drink this. Uh, all right, plate's empty. That was really nice, actually. It tasted like a lukewarm strawberry caramel milkshake. How hot is this water here? Ooh, that's absolutely piping hot. Yeah, I can't do that. All right, so last, but hopefully not least, we have the half of the Edwards Turtle Cream Pie. So this is essentially a caramel cream pie. But let's, let's do it. Well, that's good. All right, last bite of the turtle cream pie. Whew. Twenty-seven minutes, forty-five seconds for three six-inch ice cream cakes and half of a cream pie. That was pretty easy. I gotta be honest. The sugar's really not hitting me. 
And I'm really not that cold either. I'm actually still kind of warm. Surprising. It's totally worth $100. I really enjoyed that. So good. I do have one salty dessert that I want to do though. I'll be right back. Ruffles Original Potato Chips. Ooh. Oh, that is awesome right now. All right, guys, well, that's it for this Cold Stone Ice Cream Cake Challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed it, because I certainly did. If you liked the video, please like it and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. With that, this is Basket Locker Ball signing off. Peace.